Hello and welcome. Today we're going to look at a Blender bug or rather an Intel driver bug. If you open Blender and you use the B key to make a selection or if you try to press a button, you might notice that where you click is not where Blender thinks you click. If you click on a button, you actually click above it. So if I press the cancel button there, it actually saves. See? And if I want to cancel, I have to lower the mouse even further. With this, it's really annoying to work. Again, the B key makes a selection in the 3D view and you see the crosshair is uh, above the actual position of the mouse, which is infuriating. You can work around this by pressing Alt and F11 or Alt, Fn, F11 on laptops and then everything is fine and the positions are correct and the crosshair is correctly positioned. But that is not ideal because if you want to work with multiple windows, for example, watching a tutorial, it uh, might change, uh, like it might flicker, and also if you want to have a window on the side, like this, to see a video at the same time, you can't do it. You have to have a window border. So to fix this, you, have, you need to get a driver. Uh, you need to update your graphics driver. It's internal Intel graphics. That's their fault. So what you have to do is you open the task manager. You can do it via the start menu, right click and the task manager. And then uh, here, you have to go to performance and uh, go to the GPU tab where you will see the whole name of the graphics processing unit. So this is the Intel Iris Plus Graphics for uh, 640. So you just go to downloadcenter.intel.com and then you use the search on that site to search for the latest driver for your graphics card. So again, plus 640, that ought to be enough. Here we go. And then you find the download link and here there might be some in the sidebar and you just download it. And once that's done, uh, you, well, you might have to wait a while and then you just run it, of course. In my case, this took pretty much exactly two minutes to download and I guess virus check. So once you have a file, you have to double click it to install it. You will have to have admin rights, uh, the screen which asks for the login makes the screen go black in my case. And then you just go through the installer, press next and accept and all that good stuff. This pre-installation step, for example, took half a minute for me to finish. And then there's the actual installer, which uh, apparently is in your local language. And again, you just click continue, yes, and then this appears. It installs an audio driver first and then later a graphics driver. It took a little more than 20 seconds to install the audio part and then it switches to the graphics part it, and at some point it just uh, stops recording actually OBS froze because uh, I think the display driver changed itself. But basically you wait for these uh, things to finish. I think this process took about one minute, the graphics driver installation part. And once that was done I got this screen which just has a summary and then you can restart or not and actually not restarting is enough for Blender. If you now run Blender, you can just use it normally. You don't have to restart the computer. You can just press B and you will see the crosshair is positioned correctly. You can press buttons the way you want them to be, uh, where they should be, without having to use the Alt F11 workaround, which also works of course. But uh, you can now use Blender in a window without being totally stressed out by things not being as they seem to be. So this is how you fix Blender, or rather how you fix your Intel drivers so that Blender can work properly. I hope this helped. Please subscribe to support this channel and I will see you next time. Until then, ciao!